Opening day for the 2024 sturgeon spearing season has come and gone, and by most accounts, it is off to a very slow start. Many were cutting their sturgeon holes today because poor ice conditions forced many to walk onto the ice. Fox 11's Eric Peterson picks up the story from the western shoreline of Lake Winnebago. A slow, cautious caravan of ATVs makes its way across this sheet of ice near Wentz on the lake early Saturday morning. Zach Wendt says the group is looking for a safe spot to spear. We're going to saw in, see how all the sh shanties sit, and uh, hopefully, hope for the best, and uh, hopefully we can get out there. At the same landing, Daryl Parkinson and his group are hiking. Hopefully the ice is holding up. It's been a kind of questionable year, so we aren't chancing it with anything else. I think it should be fine with the sled or something, but uh, we're just going to walk out and see what happens. Many in this area are walking too, using pop-up tents to spear. DNR Warden Lieutenant Chris Shea says it was a busy morning. We have had a few shacks that have gone through the, the ice on Lake Winnebago, uh, specifically in the Grunman and Colling Bay area. So we're aware of those and working with those shack owners to get those removed from the water. Officials say poor ice conditions contributed to a small turnout on the Lake Winnebago system. This is probably the warmest we've ever seen with the least amount of ice. So this is definitely an anomaly. DNR sturgeon biologist Margaret Stadig says a good year attracts 6,000 shacks to Lake Winnebago. We did our flyover and that's where we're seeing most of our shanties. There's about little over 450 shanties out on Lake Winnebago and then another 200 kind of out between the upriver lakes. Some did manage to spear a sturgeon. Jeff Paulus registered his very first at Wentz on the lake. Well, it's great. It's like shooting your first big buck, I mean, and uh, you start shaking, you get to shakes like, um, yeah. you know, everybody, everybody gets it on their first one, I'm sure. In Fond du Lac County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. The DNR reports just 58 sturgeon were speared between Lake Winnebago and the upriver lakes. That compares to 522 on opening day last year. 45 lake sturgeon were harvested on Lake Winnebago. 13 were from the upriver lakes. The season closes on February 25th. Tell us uh, what happened this morning. Um, got set up about 6.30. Um, put my white cup down like everybody else does. Sat in the shack. Um, Sitting there waiting, got a phone call from my buddy, said he's seen one on live scope. Yeah. And uh, about an hour later, this guy came through, and, or he or she or whatever it is. <laughs> and um, it was about 12 feet of water, and I, I speared him. You, you said your first one, how exciting. Well, it's great. It's like shooting your first big buck, I mean. And uh, you start shaking, you get the shakes like, yeah. um, you know. Everybody, everybody gets it on their first one, I'm sure. sure. <laughs> How are the ice conditions? That's a big question. Uh, we had five inches where we were. That's not too much. No, no. Five inches is all we had. Seven, one, six, wow. one, five. So, you, did you walk out, or how did yeah. you get out there? Yeah, we walked out. Uh, we put everything in sleds, you know, and yeah. like everybody else is doing, too. And, and um, uh, you just do what you got to do this year, you know. Ice yeah. conditions don't allow us to drive out so you got to do what you got to do you know where on the lake were you spearing like in general was it close to here yeah or? close to Wentz yeah okay don't make the islands okay anything but, else but why go out I mean you, yep. I mean some people would say it's unsafe oh uh, good question uh um well we did some scouting beforehand so we, we kind of knew the route we were going to take so and and we looked last night before spearing you know like bunch of other people were doing and, and uh, we had confidence we we were okay with what we were doing and and you know if it wasn't safe we wouldn't have been out there so um, we felt we felt good where we were. Here we are opening day and uh, so far yeah, looks like we have uh, so far it looks like we got the landing to ourselves. Yeah it's uh it's uh landing is not very good um everybody just got to be, be be careful and I wouldn't use a landing. It's not very safe. What is it like out there? Uh, people are, are, you know, they're itching to get out, but I mean, how, how dangerous is it out there? It, it is dangerous. I mean, if you are going to attempt this weekend, I would be very cautious of everything. What is it like out here in the, in the bay or on, on the, the shoreline here? 
Um, the shore, the shoreline's going fast. We've had sun that helps, but or that doesn't help. But um, clouds are covering everything, so just gotta just gotta keep praying we get some more cold. What do you, what's the strategy today? You guys gonna try to do a little fishing out here in the bay? What's happening this morning? Yeah, we're gonna saw in, see how all the sh shanties sit, and uh, hope hope for the best, and uh, hopefully we can get out there. Well, if you've ever seen a year like this, I know uh, it's it's fairly. Uh, this has got to be a, a goofy year. This is pretty crazy. As we were talking to Dad and the family, and it's like we haven't seen one of these years in the, as long as he's been spearing. Yeah. So it's very interesting. Any advice for folks? Do uh, you think people should wait wait it out for a couple weeks or if, at least a couple days? Or yeah, I think if we get some cold weather here, and I'd wait till next weekend or maybe even the third weekend. I mean, I'd just be very cautious if you're going to come out here. Just very cautious. Good evening, I'm Mark Leland. Thanks for joining us here at 9 tonight. Opening weekend of sturgeon spearing is in the books, but poor ice conditions kept many away, bringing those harvest numbers way down to begin the season. A total of 49 lake sturgeon were harvested on Lake Winnebago today. 15 sturgeon were registered in the upriver lakes. After this opening weekend, 122 lake sturgeon have been speared throughout the entire Winnebago system. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens has more from Oshkosh on opening weekend. Dozens of pop-up tents and shanties sat on top of the ice on Lake Winnebago Sunday. But the DNR says system-wide, numbers are down significantly from last year's start of the sturgeon spearing season. Most spearers returned to the Oshkosh shore empty-handed on the final day of opening weekend. Going to be one to remember for low numbers wise. Five sturgeon were registered at the Oshkosh station on Sunday, which is located at Jerry's Bar. Pretty lucky season for me. One of those success stories includes Paul Bednarik, who's been spearing since the 1980s. It's not how long you sit, it's when. Last year I sat 16 days and never saw a fish. His sturgeon measured in at 61 inches and weighed nearly 48 pounds. I got out there at 7 today and I got it at 9, so I had like a two-hour season. It's just how it works. The prehistoric fish is the 20th sturgeon he's harvested in his lifetime. Each one is just as satisfying as the last. It's so exciting to see one come in because you may go a long time when you don't and to sit two hours, I mean, that's pretty nuts. By most accounts, the season has been off to a slow start due to poor ice conditions. The DNR says it's increasingly likely the season will run the entire 16 days, even as the weather may get slightly colder this next week. There may be some benefit to, you know, maybe some landings or whatnot moving into next week with a little bit of colder weather, but I would expect it to be largely the same. This is probably the worst it's been right at the opening weekend. Wildlife officials and spears will just have to take it one day at a time. In Oshkosh, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. If you are out on the ice at all over the opening weekend and, or plan to go out later this season, we want to see your photos. You can upload pictures and videos of your sturgeon spearing experience through our chime in feature on our website at fox11online.com. You can also uh, send them right from your phone inside your shanty using the Fox 11 News app.